Yeah, I'm Mark Curtis. I'm CEO and founder of Flutomatic. So Flutomatic is uh, finding, flirting, dating. Uh, difference between us and, for example, a typical social network. Typical social networks, the elephant in the room being Facebook, is about meeting people, talking to people you know already. We're about meeting people you don't know already. Big difference. So I think the big change really noticeable here is when I first came to Mobile World Congress about three years ago, <clears throat> I think it was three or four years ago, I remember walking around and saying to somebody I was with me, I, I don't understand, where are the consumers? Where are the, where are the things for people? Where are the pictures of consumers on people's stands? I don't see them anywhere. This is all just the industry talking to the industry and it doesn't seem, you know, who's, the, who's actually paying for all of this? And they weren't evident. This year they're evident. And I think they're evident like 250% more than they were last year. That's a big change I see. Mm. You know, you go to the Android stand, you see a whole load of little booths for companies who are developing stuff which are for consumers. And that's really exciting, especially from the point of view of somebody who's, you know, um, working on, on delivering a consumer service day by day. I think billing is an important one and, and uh, certainly on, I, I was today talking with some people and it was interesting to hear the perspective of how different the perspective is between developing countries and the US and the UK for example. And I, I, I personally found that very eye opening. You know, uh, I was uh, on a panel <clears throat> wittering on about how 70-30 wasn't good enough as a rev share and it was going to improve in the developers favour and I do, I do fervently believe that's the case over the next two years. And uh, two uh, uh, very big carriers from South America and, uh, and Asia basically said not in our territories, they're not, and then proceeded to deliver an economics lecture on why that couldn't work. And it was very interesting, and you did, you know, you'd have to step back and say actually the world is a bigger place than you necessarily see in, in, in what we used to call the West. I think also uh, fluidity in design and services, I think we're going to see a lot more about that. I think, you know, tablets are forcing everyone to think, hang on a moment, you know, we've got We've got feature phones, we've got smartphones, we've got tablets, uh, let alone the PC-based internet. Um, how do we design services that are, that are fluid? And, you know, we're still really, really early days of seeing that. I, I, can't, I can barely think of many services, if any, where the place where I pause whatever it is in the office is actually at the same place when I get home or into the car and I want to consume it there. That's kind of not there yet. That paradigm, I think, is going to become incredibly important over the next few years. And you're just beginning to hear stuff like that happening, happening now. Well, we've got a new uh, flagship app coming on iPhone in late March. And we've redesigned the brand look and feel completely. Um, we realized that what we developed in 2005 had been kind of out-evolved by digital design in the last two or three years, you know, and, and, and Twitter and Facebook and people like that have set a new benchmark, a different benchmark, not better, just different. And in order not to look a bit outdated, we had to really improve it. And at the same time, we've seized the opportunity to deliver a full touchscreen version of the app onto the iPhone. And I think you're going to see some great functionality coming out of that. Uh, because I think with MEF, you're seeing a blend of a lot of what was good about the mobile industry five to ten years ago with, with what's happening now. Um, and, I, and I think that's a, that's a very interesting mix um, because there's a, lot of, there's a lot of learning in the industry about content and about how content should be handled, um, which, which the new wave of apps is going to have to take on board in order to be truly successful. Uh, so, flutomatic.com um, or, um, you know, Google us. Uh, I'm Flutto Mark at Twitter. Uh, what else? Um, uh, go and get the app. If you're on an iPhone, just wait until about March 31st.